everyone, so today I am going to be doing a hairstyle for summer, a summer hairstyle, and it is French braids, side French braids, um, and this is really a pretty side French braids, because you know cornrows, and then they're like really tight in the back, and they are cornrows, and they come really tight and stuff, I had those a few times, um, I am a lot of times, not a few. <sighs> I love cornrows, so I tried to make the French braid kind of into cornrows, making it really, really tight and really looking like kind of cornrow y. So it kind of looks really tight. So I tried to make it like that, and then they ended up looking like um, bigger cornrows. So I was really happy with my results, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that everyone loves it as much as I do. So, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, um, that I am, I already brought a piece over from the other half. So, the half is like split in half like that. And I brought a piece over like this because it kind of creates the French braid to look more... I really like it much better when it has a piece over. You can just do it straight across, but I like it so much better like this. So now I'm going to just comb this out. And now I'm going to spray some big sexy hairspray into my hair. And this kind of creates it not to have any flyaways because normally in the braid it gets so many flyaways. Um, so I'm going to spray... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to start out by taking a very tiny section of my hair. Start. By separating it into threes. And now I'm going to start the braid and grab really really tiny pieces, like the tiniest. You really want tiny pieces. You don't want big pieces because that won't create a cornrow effect. So I'm taking like sizes like, just like a few strands of hair, like not a few, but a, not even like slot. I'm taking so many little strands pieces to make it such a tight braid and I'm pulling it super tight so this may hurt I'm not gonna lie and tell you that it's not gonna hurt because it will hurt and it's gonna hurt your head by pulling it super tight it's like when I got Quero it hurt but it's the whole point of making the braid super tight and not making it like loose so you have to pull it tight to make it like if you want a tight braid you have to pull it tight and I'm not stopping and just like gonna create a regular braid I'm going all the way down until I have no hair left to pull into the braid Okay, so I'm still super pulling this really super tight as I'm bringing the pieces. I'm pulling it super duper tight, like the tightest ever. So now I have the last piece. I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to create a super duper tight by going all the way down. Now I'm going to just create a regular braid and pulling it super tight, like the tightest. That you want this whole bottom part to be the tightest braid. So I'm pulling it super duper tight. And so now I'm going to take a rubber band. And these are the brown ones that I told you guys in my hair goodies basket that you will be needing. I'm just going to tie that off with a elastic. like that. What 
I normally do, I normally do like a very loose braid, like a very loose French braid. I don't know why, why I never did a type. So now I'm gonna spray this with Big Setty Hairspray to kind of create it not to be. Now I'm gonna curl the ends because they just look like they're endy. So I'm gonna curl them and I'm gonna take my Jose a bar curling iron. And I am going to, I love this curling iron because it makes the ends look so nice and not like. So I'm gonna curl the ends. This is an optional step, you don't have to do this, but I personally like how the ends look curled instead of just looking plain. You can either straighten or curl them, but I prefer to curl them because it just looks so much nicer and not as like, I don't know, I just like it. There's something about it. So I'm just taking each piece and curling it. Okay, so now that I have that, now I'm just gonna twist it to kind of create them all to go together like that, and then I'm just gonna spray, just like that. Yeah, so that's what I, that's how my French braid is for summertime, and I really love it. And what you also can do is you can accessorize it with like, um ribbon at the bottom like if I was wearing a blue outfit I could accessorize with some little blue ribbon or something but otherwise this is how you get the and the reason why I just did one half because I wanted you guys to really get the drift just with one half um and then so you guys know to do the other half is what you really do is you do the same exact thing pull it really really tight and you'll get the same thing on the other side but you just got the tip is to pull it really tight and you got a beautiful hairstyle in no time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that everyone has a great day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!